It's that time of year again where we hand out awards to the top trail shoes of 2023. It is our favorite time of the year when we get to hand out awards, virtual awards, kind of not really awards. It's really not like the Emmys or the Oscars, but we were handing out awards to the top trail shoes of 2023. I have done a lot of running this year, a lot more than I ever thought I would do. And I put these trail shoes to the test. A lot of models have been done, a lot of reviews have been done, a lot of videos have been done, but it is time to start crowning some of these shoes for various categories. We're talking about road to trail shoe, technical trail shoe, long run shoe, best overall shoe. We have a ton of shoes to get through. Now, some of these shoes were provided to me, but they have no idea that they are going to be getting this award. And honestly, all of this, these awards are my opinion and nobody has any say about who I crown as the best overall shoe. Now sit back, relax, and let's talk about the best trail shoes of 2023. The first award up is the long run shoe of the year. And we're giving it to the Speedland PGH or the Cam Haynes Commission. This shoe is made for those long runs out on the trails when you do not care about the pace. Go four, five, six plus hours. This foam is fantastic. This upper is super comfortable. I gave it to the PGH over the Tams because of the updates they made. I like the dials a little bit better. The pads, which just made it more comfortable the longer you're out on the trail. Speedland did a fantastic job making a long run cruiser. It's fantastic. I love this foam. It feels fantastic underfoot. And also it's a wider platform. So again, when you are out there in a longer bit of time, you're not gonna get unstable. The shoe just wraps your foot and you can click off the miles with no problem at all. So there you go. Speedland, PGH, Cam Haynes Commission, long run shoe of the year. The next category is the technical trail shoe of the year. And this was easy for me. It is the Norda 002. This shoe is fantastic. Nora is based out in Canada, so they get gnarly trails. They know what we get on the East Coast, and this thing's fantastic. This Vibram outsole it works wonders on technical trails. Now, the 002 compared to the 001, they made the drop a little bit lower, but the foam is still fantastic. By lowering the, the foam when I'm on those technical terrain, I have no issues at all. The stack height works perfectly. This upper, they also gave it a better uh, heel count right here. It's pretty darn stout. You lock this shoe in and you can click it off for miles. It feels good on non-technical terrain, but dang, this is a monster on those technical trails. I have no slipping, falling, no worries when I hit that as gnarly trails. So your technical trail running shoe of the year, gotta go Norda 002. The next category is road to trail shoes. Now this category I think blew up in 2023. There are some fantastic ones, but to me, honestly, there's only one that stood out at the top and that is the Kraft Nordlight Ultra. This thing was freaking awesome. I love the CR foam. It's super comfortable out on those kind of buffed out trails to slightly technical. And this feels amazing on the roads. Honestly, if you're going on a vacation that you might be doing roads and trails, this shoe, all you need because it can handle both of them extremely well. Um, I had no issues at all with this upper. It is very breathable, especially in those summer months. So again, for the roads and trail shoes, you want something that can handle both of them. And honestly, this shoe does it so freaking well. It really does. Now, this shoe is not a road to gnarly trails. This is a road to buffed out to slightly technical trails. And the Nordlight Ultra absolutely is a killer in that. So for your road to trail shoe, craft Nordlight Ultra, takes it. The next award is for the newbie brand. This is a brand that's new to me and new to a lot of people. And that has to go to the 4T2 Get Lost. This shoe is freaking awesome. I had no idea about this brand. Uh, they're over based in Europe. I'm in the States. I had no idea about the shoe, but for a first trail shoot, shoot, they knocked it out of the park. Like seriously, this thing is awesome. The foam they use is really nice. It's not too firm and it's not too squishy, which is really nice for the trails. This lugs, it's Vibram outsole. I love me some Vibram. And it, it's just made for those gnarly trails. Mud, rain, rocky, you name it. Everything I threw at this, not an issue at all. This upper, look at that. This has been through hell and back and it still looks freaking awesome. It's holding up really nicely. For a first time trail shoe, 
four T2, you knocked it out of the park. So my newbie of the year, get lost by four T2. The next award is for the race day shoe. And I have two options here. I, I really couldn't decide, so I'm giving both of them the award. It's a tie. The first one goes to the Nike Ultrafly Trail. This thing was awesome. I love getting the miles into the shoe. I felt fast in it. I could take off the miles with ease. I love that they had a V-Rim outsole. While it's not the most aggressive outsole, for me, it did the trick. This upper as well, it's a wider platform. So the longer you went on the trails, this thing just opened up and felt fantastic. But honestly, for a first time, you know, carbon plated super shoe out on the trails, I think Nike knocked it out of the park. I really do. This shoe, if I'm going for a long trail race, this is going to be on my foot. This feels fantastic. I feel fast in it. And for most of the trails I'm running on and going to be racing on, this thing can handle the terrain. Now the next shoe, because I just couldn't decide, is the Norma Chirac. I'm going to give this also the race day option, but I'm going to go with maybe like more of a, the 50K or less traps. And the reason why is because there's not much stack here. I love this shoe. I feel fast in this shoe and I feel nimble in this shoe. But I, I also, if I'm going further, I need a little bit more cush. I'm not made that way where I, I can go barefoot. I need cush, but I would say anything 50K or under, this shoe is freaking awesome. This might be one of the most comfortable uppers. I found for this shoe, I got it wet one time in a rainy run and it just molded to my foot. This foam is really nice. There's not a lot of it, but it does the trick. So honestly, for race day shoe of the year for the trail running category, I gotta give it to the normal Chirac and the Nike Ultrafly Trail. And the last category, the overall shoe that I absolutely loved has to go to the Saucony Endorphin Rift. This shoe I absolutely loved. I ran this in my 150K that I did in Kyoga Ithaca. It's freaking awesome. I love this foam. It's comfortable. I feel fast in it. This turn, this it's not Vibram outsole, but dang, it does the job. I went on some gnarly terrain. This thing always answers the bell. I usually don't like a booty upper, but for me, this upper worked out perfectly. I laced this up and I kind of forgot that it was on. The reason why this shoe is getting my overall trail running shoe of the year is basically because I keep reaching for it. I really do. I have a ton of trail shoes, but this is the one I keep reaching for. And when, you know, when I did the 50K, I had this on because again, with all the creek crossings, all of the, the st steep steps and the rocky terrain, this just was able to do everything I'm looking for. So again, the Saucony Endorphin Rift, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is your trail running shoe of the year. So there you have it. Those are the trail running shoes that I absolutely loved in 2023. I didn't like, I love them. Let me know what you think in the comments. Drop down below. What was your favorite trial running shoe of the year? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Also, remember, subscribe to the channel. You know you want to. It helps the channel and it costs you nothing. And definitely like this. And I hope you all had a wonderful 2023. I cannot wait to talk about the rad trial shoes coming in 2024.